Campbell County, situated in northeastern Wyoming, with its county seat of Gillette, is a great base point for traveling to many visitor attractions of the West, including several popular national monuments and parks, as well as other highly visited outdoor attractions that Wyoming and the United States have to offer for both national and international visitors. Gillette is conveniently located between all the major stops that you would like to see when you're coming out west. We are located about an hour away from Devil's Tower, which is our nation's first national monument. We're located close to the Mount Rushmore Monument, and then of course we're right on the way to Yellowstone National Park. We've got probably 25 hotels, about 1,800 hotel rooms, and a lot of dining options with a lot of different restaurant choices. So we are a great stopping point on your way to your Western vacation. Also in Gillette, we are very, very blessed because we're known as the energy capital of the nation. So as far as living here, we have all the amenities you could ever ask for for a town of 30,000 people. We've got the Gillette College, we have the Recreation Center, which is a wonderful facility that has a Devil's Tower replica climbing wall, from that to a lazy river swimming pool, all the exercise equipment, a fabulous field house. We've also got the Camplex, which is our multi-event center, where we have everything from theater shows to concerts to RV rallies and firework shows. There's just so much to do here in Gillette and Wright in Campbell County, Wyoming, whether you're living here or just passing through. Those preferring to fly rather than drive to Wyoming's national parks and monuments will be pleased to learn that the Gillette Campbell County Airport, in addition to looking more like a natural history museum, also provides daily connecting flights to a couple of major western hubs. The Gillette Campbell County Airport offers daily service two round trip flights per day to Denver and also two round trip flights to Salt Lake City, Utah. We're located between Yellowstone and Devil's Tower and both uh, are destination spots. So we do have great air service availability to our airport and our community. And certainly you can utilize our airport 365 days a year. Accessible air service and amazing wildlife, not to mention the great variety of hotels and eating establishments, also make Gillette and Campbell County an attractive destination for many hunting enthusiasts. Around Campbell County, we have more antelope licenses available than I think anywhere else in the state of Wyoming. If you're hunting, we have an abundance of pronghorn antelope. There, there's no better place in the, in the western United States to go than Campbell County to hunt antelope. Not only when somebody comes out to hunt do they have the opportunity to harvest an animal, but when they come out to hunt, they get an opportunity to see the country, do things and see things that they haven't. Seeing the open spaces, seeing more animals, and um, antelope and deer than you might people in a day, that's something that, that you can take back with you from wherever you come from and, uh, and really uh, cherish that moment of spending that time in Campbell County.
The state of Wyoming has one of the most diverse wildlife populations in the United States, including some 600 mammal, bird, and fish species. Designed by the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, the Wildlife and Natural History Loop Tours were created to provide driving guidance for residents and tourists interested in viewing all of this. Campbell County is home to two of these wildlife and natural history loops, both crossing through Gillette. And if you decide to further explore these routes, a free and comprehensive brochure can be obtained from the Gillette Visitors Bureau. However, if you want to see buffalo like in the old days, Durham Buffalo Ranch, located south of Gillette and only minutes away from the town of Wright, will deliver a unique and fascinating experience. When you come to visit the Durham Ranch, uh, what we try and do is put you in a situation where it takes you back into the past. We have a very large herd of buffalo. It's one of the largest existing herds of buffalo in the U.S. and certainly one of the oldest buffalo ranches today. And so we take you right into the middle of them. We have over 2,500 head on 55,000 acres and we want you to feel like you were living 200 years ago and seeing what uh, the, the, the early explorers of the U.S. saw when they saw these these incredible masses of buffalo across the plains. It goes beyond just having a big herd of buffalo on a big piece of property. There's a lot more to it than that. Less than an hour away from Gillette, Wyoming, Devil's Tower was established by President Teddy Roosevelt as the United States' first national monument over 100 years ago, on September 24, 1906. And each year, over 400,000 national and international visitors journey to see this peculiar natural rock formation. Visitors come to Devil's Tower National Monument for a sense of place, for quiet, for peace, solitude, hiking, climbing, photography, wildlife viewing. There's a lot to see and do there, including the little prairie dogs in the prairie dog town. Um, a wonderful place. There's places to have lunch and picnic. The tower trail that is paved is at about 1.2 miles long. And as, as you go around the tower, there's quite a few uh, wayside exhibits that talk about the geology, the flora and fauna, things like that that visitors can educate themselves about. Devil's Tower is a sentinel that gives a sense of place. Regardless of who you are, where you come from, what your theology is. And when you're here, you, you, get, a, you get a sense of awe, grandeur, and it means, uh, it means many things to different people. There's no guessing why Devil's Tower is the cultural icon uh, that it is.
About halfway between Devil's Tower and Gillette, Keyhole Reservoir offers more than 10,000 acres of pristine waters and over 53 miles of shoreline, which are mostly part of the adjacent Keyhole State Park with its endless recreational opportunities. Keyhole Reservoir is located east of Gillette, Wyoming, about 35 miles in the northeast part of the state of Wyoming. It was originally built for irrigation purposes in the 50s and is far more valuable for recreation purposes now. Um, it is a very shallow lake. Um, it gets very warm uh, in the summertime, usually around 80 degrees. Um, it is on the edge of the Black Hills uh, forest and uh, is uh, used by approximately 20 to 30,000 people in the course of the, of the year. Located among so many amazing western destinations, Gillette can also be your lodging option should you decide to access Yellowstone or Teton National Parks using I-90 and U.S. Highway 16, the latter also known as the Cloud Peak Scenic Byway, a route that will take you through the southern part of the amazing Bighorn National Forest. Created as a U.S. forest preserve in 1897, Bighorn National Forest is one of the oldest government-protected forest lands in the United States that sprawls over one million acres and is covered with pine, spruce, fir, and aspen. In addition, it's home to many pristine mountain lakes, including West Tensleep, and most of them are naturally stocked with trout and a multitude of other fish species. ATV enthusiasts have access to hundreds of miles to ride and will be fascinated by the scenery and the topographic variety of the surrounding spectacular peaks. Jumping on a quad or driving a side-by-side off-road vehicle will offer the freedom to explore many areas which were previously not easily accessible. Although before doing that, make it a point to check for designated roads and also comply with all national forest regulation. Camel County Recreation Center is located in Gillette, Wyoming. It is a regional facility. It's uh, one of the largest in the Rocky Mountain region. The facility itself is 190,000 square feet. We have uh, two swimming pools, a leisure pool. We have something that's quite unique, a climbing wall that is uh, featured to look like Devil's Tower. And we also have uh, indoor uh, track and tennis. We have a uh, Division I rated 200 meter track, a six lane track. We have five indoor tennis courts, uh, three basketball courts, four racquetball courts. We have several 
exercise areas and including a very nice weight room and cardio area. Whether you want to book your kid's birthday party or climb Devil's Tower climbing wall or take a swim in the Lazy River, pretty much you name it, we have it here at the Rec Center in Campbell County and it is a great place to bring the family or to get a workout on your way to another adventure. golf enthusiasts, we have three different courses here in Campbell County. One down in Wright and two here in Gillette. The Bell Knob course in Gillette has recently been renovated and added to a couple of years ago and is a beautiful, beautiful section of town with a great restaurant and a great meeting space there too. So we'd love to see you to come here and play golf with us in Campbell County. Last but certainly not least, since Gillette is the energy capital of the nation, you can also embark on an open pit mine tour to experience firsthand this amazing operation with its gigantic machinery, especially designed for this kind of colossal task. We'll get close to some of this equipment and you'll see how big that is as well. So that truck there equates into two train cars full of coal. See all the different sizes of coal on the top of that truck there. He's gonna go in there, coal's gonna drop down through some gravity-fed crushers, and it's gonna be crushed into pieces that are two inches or smaller. The train is 115 to 140 cars long. As they start loading the train, we will move through the loading facility at a constant speed of about 0.6 of a mile an hour. It takes about 45 seconds for it to load the coal on each car. And remember, it's 120 tons going on each car, about half of those, those haul trucks. As you can see, Campbell County and Gillette, Wyoming can be your perfect getaway for several nights as you visit some of the most spectacular destinations Wyoming and the Western United States have to offer.